Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a retro style 1970s kitchen with Lego bricks for today's tutorial. Let's begin with an 8 by 16 plate for our foundation. In the upper left hand corner, we're going to place a 2 by 4 plate. Then along the left hand side, a 1 by 6 plate. And a 1 by 2 plate in this area, followed by a pair of one by two jumper plates. These are going to be used to anchor down our refrigerator. And on the top, three two by four plates. For our floor, we're going to take several one by flat tiles. These are going to represent hardwood floor planks. You can do any design you wish. So I'm going to start with a 1x4 flat tile, 1x8 flat tile, and a 1x2 flat tile. And then we're just going to continue on placing down various sizes of planks. And I just kind of want to stagger my joints a bit to give it more of a randomized look. <laughs> now you could do any design you wish on this. This is... Something I thought would be pretty cool for the retro 1970s kitchen. I'll just finish this up right here to complete the floor. Let's begin with the construction of our wall, starting in the upper left-hand corner with a 1x6 brick, followed by 1x4 brick and 1x6 brick. And along the left-hand side, a 1x4 brick and a 1x3 brick. And we're going to continue up the next level here on the left-hand side with a pair of 1x4 bricks. And in the back, a 1x3 brick and three 1x4 bricks. You can use any color you wish. In the back, 1x6, a 1x4, and a 1x6 set of bricks. And along the left-hand side, a 1x4 and 1x3 bricks. Back on the left, a pair of 1x4 bricks right here, a 1x2 brick, and a 1x3 brick. We're going to skip three studs and continue on with a 1x3 brick and 1x4 brick. And in the back, 1x6 brick. And on the right-hand side, a 1x4 and 1x3 bricks. And then we're going to go along this side with a set of 1x4 and 1x3 bricks. Back on the left-hand side, a 1x3 brick. And we're going to place a 1x1 brick with one stud right here. And a 1x4 brick. And in this remaining area, 12 1x1 1 bricks with one stud. That's a lot. Now the reason why I'm putting these here is to attach our upper cabinets and some curtains that go above the window. And yes, this opening is for a 1x3x3 window. Fill this right in here. They didn't have any larger sizes in Sangrina, so the filming of this video, so one by ones will have to do. Take a one by three by three frame. I'm going to set a piece of glass inside the frames. Snaps right in place. I want to place this right in this opening. That's going to be our window for the kitchen. And back in the upper left, a one by four brick. I'm going to place a one by six brick right here above the window to lock all that in place. And another 1x6 brick right here to lock all these bricks with studs. And along the left-hand side, a 1x4 and 1x3 bricks. And let's crown off the top of the wall with a set of flat tiles. So we're going to start right here with a 1x2x2 corner flat tile. Then set down a 1x6 flat tile right here, followed by another 1x6 flat tile and a 1x8 flat tile complete the construction of the room. Let's begin the construction of our lower kitchen cabinets and countertops with a 1x2 plate with slide. 
going to place a one by two by one and two thirds brick with four studs right on top. And I want to face the studs off with a two by two plate and a set of one by two ingots. These are going to be our cupboard doors. And for a countertop, a two by two flat tile. We're going to make two of these. Now let's make a set of drawers, starting with a one by two plate with slide. I'm going to take a one by two by one and two thirds brick with four studs, place it right on top, followed by a two by two plate. Just like with the cupboards, we're going to take a set of one by two ingot tiles, but I'm going to have these sitting sideways for drawer fronts. And then I'm going to crown off the top here with a two by two flat tile for a countertop. And finally for our inside corner kitchen counter, start with a one by three plate. I'm going to place a one by two plate with slide on the right hand side and a one by three plate on the left hand side. Then we're going to proceed on with a number one, one by two rounded plate and a one by one plate right there. Next, right here to lock all this together, a one by three plate and on the right hand side, a one by one plate. Now in this area right here, I'm going to set a one by one brick, and then a one by one rounded brick. This is going to help kind of correct and offset with the interior of our corner and then I'm going to lock this together with a number one one by two rounded plate. In the back left a one by two brick and a set of one by one bricks with one stud right there. And for cupboard doors a one by two plate and a one by two ingot. We're going to make two of these. We're going to place these on our bricks with studs. And for the countertop right here, two by three flat tile and a one by two flat tile to complete up the corner kitchen counter. Let's begin installing our lower cabinets. I'm going to take the corner cabinet and place this right here. Just press that down right on the studs. And I'm going to set a set of regular cupboards right here. I'm going to leave this area open for a sink that we're building in a moment or two. And I think I'm going to place some drawers right here. I'm going to leave three studs open for our oven and range. Place a set of cupboards right here. For our kitchen sink, start with a two by three plate. In the back, place a set of one by three plates right on top of one another and a one by three jumper plate. Place that right there. And here in the front, three one by one by one corner wall elements. Now what I'm gonna do is have these two facing one another. And I'm gonna have this one here facing this one for a two basin sink. And we're gonna place a faucet assembly right on top. Next, take a one by three jumper plate and on the back side I'm going to place three one by one bricks with one stud. This is going to be our little lower portion of our cabinet right below the sink. And right on these two studs right here, a one by two ingot. And then we're going to place this right on the bottom. Let's set our kitchen sink right underneath our window. Just press that down. For our upper cabinets, we're going to make a single cupboard. We're going to start with a set of one by two plates. We're going to stack them on top of one another and let's crown that off with a one by two ingot tile. For a double upper cupboard, let's stack a set of two by two plates right on top of one another. And we're going to crown these off with a set of one by two ingots. For our corner upper cupboards, let's stack a set of 
two by three plates run on top of one another. Um, the right hand studs, a one by two ingot, and in this area, a set of one by two 45 degree slope plates. And we're going to fill in this area here with a one by two plate and a one by two flat tile. For cupboards with curtains, start with a one by six plate. On the left hand side, I'm going to set down a two by two plate. And I'm going to fill in this little void with a one by two plate in this area. Take an angular, I believe this is a left hand one by two plate with bow, place that right there. A one by one half round flat tile. And another one of these angular one by two flat tile with bow. Looks like this one's on the right hand side. Place that right there. And then I'm going to take a two by two plate. I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to place a one by two plate there. And a one by one plate in this corner. And we're going to place this void right on this stud. And we're going to crown off the remaining eight studs with four one by two ingots. Let's begin installing our upper cabinets with the corner cabinet first. Place this right here. You're going to have to slip it behind the stud. Place it in as shown. And this stud right here, our single cupboard. Finish up this area. Then I'm going to take the ones with the curtains, place these right above the window. Skip three studs. That'll be left open for our range hood. And place the last set of cupboards right here. For our oven and range, take a 2 by 3 plate. We're going to flip this over and I want to place a set of number one 1 by 2 rounded plates on both ends. These are going to be the legs. Let's flip that back over and crown off this with another 2 by 3 plate. In the center, the back, a 1 by 1 plate and on the sides a set of one by two plates. For a viewing window we're going to take a set of transparent black one by one plates. We're going to stack these on top of one another and place this right in this one by one opening. And along both sides a set of one by one plates. And then I'm going to lock this together with one by three plate, and for the top, right here, a one by one flat tile, followed by a set of one by one plates. These are actually going to be our burners. Now we're going to slide this off to the side, take a one by three rounded plate, we're going to flip this upside down, and I'm going to place an upwards one by two by one by two angular plate right here, followed by and upwards one by one by one by one upwards angular plate in this area. And right in the center, I'm going to place one of these little gauge prints that are on a one by one round flat tile. These are sometimes impossible to center up, so you may have to do it several tries. And these two things right here are going to be our knobs to control the oven and range. And then I'm going to take a modified one by one round plate with stick. Place the sticks inside these holes. What we're doing here is we're going to reverse our studs and tubes and I'm going to simply take this and set this down right here right in the back. Complete the oven and range. Slide this off to the side. We're going to do our range hood. Start with a one by three plate. Then I'm going to place three one by two 45 degree slope plates right here. And it's important we're going to be using these because we're going to need to have access to this peg in the middle. And I'm going to finish these off here with another 
one by three plate and a one by three flat tile in this area to complete the hood. Let's install our oven and range right in this area. It just drops right in place. Then we're going to set the hood in here. Now remember I mentioned about these pegs. I want to set them inside the one by one bricks with one stud. Give our range hood a bit of an offset. For the refrigerator, start with a 2x3x5 cupboard. I'm going to place a door inside the cupboard. And then for a handle, a rounded 1x2 flat tile. For legs, a set of number one 1x2 rounded plate. And to finish up the top, a 2x3 flat tile. Now we're going to populate inside of our refrigerator with some produce. Let's take a 1x1 one one brick with a juice box print. I don't know what these are called. I'm going to place a 1x1 one one flat tile right on the top. And I'm going to set this right on the middle shelf. Now you can place anything anywhere you wish. Now I'm going to take one for milk. And we're going to crown this off with a 1x1 one one flat tile. Set that right next to our juice box. Place that right in there. And for cans of soda or cans of beer, <laughs> depends on your preference, just a one by one round brick and a round one by one flat tile. Place that right in there. I'm going to make two of these in different colors and set those right in there. And for the ice box on the top, just going to take two popsicles, transparent neon yellow. Set those right in there. Complete the refrigerator. Now let's install our refrigerator right on these two jumper plates. This will give our fridge a nice offset next to the counter. For a coffee maker, take a number one one by two rounded plate, place a transparent clear stud on that stud right there, and a one by one plate with stick. Place this right here. This is going to be a handle for our coffee pot. And right here in the back, a one by one round brick. Take another one by two rounded plate number one. We're going to crown these off here with a set of one by one half round flat tiles to smooth off the top. Place these right there. I'm going to place this right on top to complete the coffee maker. And for a toaster, we're going to start with a 1x2 plate and a 1x2 plate with friction stub. Place that right there. And a 1x2 radiator grill to complete the top of the toaster. Now let's add our accessories, our countertops. I'm going to set the coffee maker right there. Place our toaster right by the sink. It's not really the smartest place to put it. <laughs> Fills that area in. And then I'm going to set a frying pan on one of our burners and a pot to complete the retro style 1970s kitchen.